and I'm Emma. And we run Learn to Dance in Burnham in the UK. So today we're going to look at the Argentine Stroll and we think it's possibly one of the hardest sequence dances. Now as always with our sequence workshops we're going to break this down to hopefully easier to master chunks and then put it together into the full routine as we go through. We've looked at the routine and we've broken it down into four what we think bike sized chunks and we've adapted it for small spaces. So let's have a look at our first basic step, shall we? Now, we have a look at the first initial eight steps. Okay, we'll talk about timing in a second. But we're going to have two walks, a one and two. We get ready to step and cross, leaders crossing right behind, followers left foot in front. And then we'll take a step, leaders left foot, followers right foot, step, side, together, and a step. Okay. Now everybody knows it's a problem to try to get in a small space. So we'll talk about in a second about how you cope with that. We'll show you again. It's going to be a walk, a walk, a step, cross, step, side together, step. So time-wise, it's going to be slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So we'll show you that again. It's going to be slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick. Slow. Now because this is based loose on Argentine Tango, actually all we have to do is take those walks in a nice curve in action, nice and compact, around on the spot for this first movement. So what we have is just a curve the whole time to the left, so sort of slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And a one, and a two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So we're going to try that to some music. Just a reminder though that in sequence dance, everyone waits for the first four bars and then we start together at the same time. <laughs> So that was our comparatively easy part of the routine. The next section, we're going to start with a check, an underarm spin for the follower, we're going to end in a lunge, we're going to come up, we're going to lunge again, we're going to hook the leg, and then we'll come round back to face each other for the moment. So there's not too much to do then? We'll show you first of all on the straight here, and then we'll talk about how we incorporate that with the other steps, and also keep it nice and small and compact. So we've just done our side together step. But now we have a check. Leaders going forward left foot, follows back on the right foot. With a slight turn to the left, we come up and we tap. And leaders lift the left arm up, creating space. Now what happened here, leaders are going to chasse down the room. When you are chasse leaders, it's going to be quick, quick lunge. We're going to end in a lunge. Okay? The followers are going to turn the leader's arm. And again, they're going to end in a lunge as well. We have Quick, quick lunge. So you're side in front of each other. We come up, we close, we transfer the weight, and then you lunge again. You lunge again. Now we're going to have what we call a hook. And the idea is the leader turns the body to the left, a quarter of a turn to the left, relax your right knee, and let your follower hook round behind. Now, for the moment, what we're then going to do is come up and turn back where we started and tap. And we go off into our basics from there to carry on. Okay? So we'll show you that again. It's going to be a check, prepare, down the room to lunge, come up, lunge, hook, round, tap. And off the beginning from there. Now I'll modify for the moment, we're going to dance diagonally across our space, have the check and then come back to this corner. If you did have actually a little bit less space, you could try curving that basic round, so you're in this direction and curving, but if you've got the space, ideally diagonal is going to be easier. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to have our slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, check, come up, spin and lunge, come up to the side, the hook, round, tap. And you're ready to go forward to the beginning from there, carry on. So we'll try out some music. Lead us left foot, follow us right foot. Three, two, three, and four, two, ready, and slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Side together, slow. Check, come up. Spin, lunge. Up, side, hook, get ready. Wait, two, three. section that we believe is the hardest part of the Argentine stroll. This is mainly because both parties need to maintain balance and control. Now what's going to happen is, from the second of the lunges, so as we have our lunge, we have our lunge, we have the turn and the hook. Now here leaders, I'm going to swing my body round to the right, let my partner put their left foot down and keep them turning round from there. Now as the follower gets ready to step back on their right foot. I'm going to take a step to the side of my right foot and take my partner two hand and hold. And then guide them to a little zigzag and a swivel. Now, in terms of keeping this within our front room or confined space, we're going to take the next section across towards this corner. We're going to bring our partner through the middle, forward to the side. We're both across behind, across behind to the side. I'll let my right hand move down towards my partner's back. And actually, what I'm going to do is bring them around in a tight circle from here. I step to the middle, to the middle, to the side, keep the part turned that steps back, and we'll step behind, and then a little turn of my body to the left, my part will flip up. The important thing here, followers, is to go between your part's legs before you lift the heel, don't do the mischief. And for the moment, we're going to step back, close. Okay, so let's try and put all that together then. So again, we're going to have the walk-in, the cross, the close, the check. The turn into the lunge, come up and then lunge into the first hook. We're then going to rondate around our partner, the little zigzag into a swivel, and then we'll have another grapevine before going into our second hook. We'll show you. So it's going to be our one, two, three and four, five and six, our check, come up, our spin, our lunge, our up, our side, our hook, then around a quick, quick, slow. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and up and close. And then for the moment, beginning. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Lunge, come up, turn, lunge, up, side, Hook, round, one, two, three, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and up, and close. So let's try the whole thing to music. <laughs> Final 
part of the Argentine strum. What we're going to have now is a lunge away from each other. When we recover, the follower is going to sweep round to face their partner. We've got two steps and then our natural pivot turn, which is just like the rock turn in tango. So we'll take it from our second hook, from our step and our hook. Now here leaders, as we go back, we're going to close our feet, bringing our partner around and lunge away from each other on the diagonal. Normally we lunge in towards the wall for the followers and towards the centre for the leaders, but here on the diagonal, we're going to come back up side by side, leaders keep their left foot free as you come back in again, followers close your feet to bring your left foot free, up, in. The important thing is there's no rotation, we come up first of all. Then the followers can step forward left foot and swivel around to face their partner. Leaders can stand on the spot bring her forward. What you can do, leaders, again, depending on the space you've got, is have just a little side step out of the way, give a bit more space from there. Now we have our two walks curving. One, two. Now normally in your Argentine stroll, we'd have four rocking turns around, then go up to the beginning from there. If you find you haven't got quite enough space for those four rocks, you can do the fourth one as a close on the spot rather than rocking. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going through the two walks. So our walk, our stop, our rock, our rock, our rock together. So that's the whole Argentine strong routine. Let's try it all together. So from the beginning, again, we've got our walk. So our walk, our walk, our step, cross, step, our side together, step, our check, come up, our spin into the lunge, our up, our side, our hook, I've got a swing, round two, three and one, and two and three and four, the middle two, three and up, and lunge away from each other, up, the other way, bring around, walk, walk, rock, 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 together. Or again, that fourth rock if you've got space. And then the beginning from there, carry on as you go. So, to music from the top, leaders on the left foot, followers on the right foot. So we have four bars, number three, two, three, then four, two, three, and four. Four. Step, cross, step. the Argentine stroll adapted for smaller spaces. We hope you enjoyed it and didn't break any furniture. See you again soon. So we've reached the final part of our Argentine stroll. What we're going to now have 
Get it, get it, get it, get it. So we've reached the final part. <laughs> so we've reached the final part of our Einstein stroll. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a lunge away from each other. We're gonna recover. The follower's gonna sweep round to face their partner. We're gonna have two walks and then a natural pivot turn, a lot like our. What's it like, Anne? I'm so close. Uh -huh. I've eaten it. And a natural pivot turn, which is just like our rock basic. Rock turn is the tango. We've got two walks and then our natural pivot turn, which is just like. <laughs> <laughs> which is like our. Uh, just similar to the rock turn. Similar to the rock turn in tango. We've got two walks followed by our natural pivot turn, which is just like our. <laughs> you guys get the highlights. <laughs> just, 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 just. Okay. It's so tight. Let's play some. What is it not though? The rock turn. Rock. <laughs> rock turn. <laughs> the tango. Yeah, I think we're beginning classes. Yes. <laughs> if I get through it as quick as possible, it will work. <laughs> After many hours. <laughs> many, many days. <laughs> we record these before the coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> what we're going to have now is a lunge away from each other. When we recover, the follower is going to sweep round to face their partner. We've got two steps and then our natural pivot turn, which is just like the rock turn in Okay. You can kiss me. 